We've got baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Reed Schaller will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on? Come on, guy, get your pitch up there. Next, it'll be That'll Travis hurt. Carroll. The first chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Carroll. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Guys, you take a look at the home nine as they enter play here this afternoon. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, D-Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Here comes the one-two. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. Run it out, run it out, run it out. Step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Next, it'll be Travis now Carroll. Designated hitter. Now Travis. the pitch. Carroll. Sent out to straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. They need you right here, kid. So next to hit is now Travis Carroll. He flew hit. out in his last Travis. day being. Carroll. Fun attempt, but this one might have too much on it. Throw to first is Carroll. in time, so a good idea, but the bun attempt doesn't. Up next, Travis Carroll. Go ahead, run at first. Nobody out. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And that will end up a foul ball. In the dirt here. Bit of a surprise here as he's going to try to lay one down. There's one. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Stepping up is Rex Baca. He's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Runner goes for second. Strike taken. The throw. Is there and he's out trying to take second. A lot of times, if a guy is going, it's going to be on the. When you had times when you were going great on the mound but not at the plate, did it ever start to get in your mind when you were on the mound? Did the struggles bleed over at all? You know, you try not to let it bleed over, and that's that's the struggle because you care so much and you want to contribute, you want to do well, but ultimately you got to keep them separated. Offense is offense and defense is defense. And a lot of times, you know, like I would struggle at the plate and it's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to bring it because I want other hitters to struggle right now at the plate. And so it fires you up a little bit, right? Because, okay, I didn't do it at the bat, but oh, good luck because I'm throwing heat now. I'm bringing it. I'm going right at these hitters, um, challenging them. So, you know, use it to motivate you, but not to get you down, you know, um, and, and luckily you have both sides. So you're struggling at the plate. All right, I'm going to be the best defensive player that I can be today. Make up for it. Clutch hitting has not been a strength for this team. Their manager lets them know it. Yeah, 
It's baseball. It's the show. Three. Ready now is Ken Weller. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Lead half of the first. The the right field. And a fastball is yeah. in there for strike one. Weller. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four of five prior to that. Yeah, Maddie, this team's in the grind part of their schedule right now. Just had a short homestand, able to say hello to the family, kiss the wife, tuck the kids in at night, and they're back on the road again. This should be interesting to see the energy this team plays with today. And another foul ball. Hey, great job by the offense right here to put a number up on the board and allow this young gun to go out on the mound, relax a little bit, and establish that good fastball. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Decker is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now at the plate, Kyle White. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Strike one to start the at-bat. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. So he sets him down swinging. Kyle White becomes out number two this inning. Into the box now. Batting Brock third. Lundquist. The left fielder. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Strike two, good curveball on the inside black. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We'll go on to the top of inning number two, and the Sea Dogs lead this one two to nothing. Digging in, the switch hitter, Jeremy Rivera. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood inning. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Big guy, one time. Here we go. The 1-0 pitch. Count now a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. That's a ball. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Now the 2 1. Inside ball three. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full 3 and 2. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Reined in. On the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. At the plate now is George Warren looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. First offering on its way. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a call. Leading up for the Fisher Cats. Left Her side, baseball. but well fouled. Ramsey. Ball. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. Two and two. 
Two balls, two strikes. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Gets three. him looking, strike three. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two-strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Warbeck. Oh one, here's the pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. Standing in now, Jordan Groshans. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He'll come in here at 259. Two home runs and 14 driven in. Ground to second base. This could be two. Scooped up. And there's out number two. Now with the plate is Cullen Lark. Runner in scoring position with two guns. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One hit, one left. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in the Leading outfielder, up. Malcolm Cash. Stewart. The center field. A high fastball is in there. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. And the pitch. Daniel Houston comes on with one gone here as he looks at a cold strike one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in. No Ken right Weller Very flew seven. out last time up. Ken. No balls in one strike. Weller. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Striding in is Kyle White. He sets a lead us off in the whole half of the fourth inning. 0-1 the count. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. The left fielder, number 32. Brock Lundquist swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch in the air out to right. Decker is there. Two down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, John Ramsey. 0 for now 1. Matt. Went down Third looking baseman. his first time up. Right side, but it's well Ramsey. fouled. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Oh, oh, Popped oh. him up. Osinski has a play. And that's the third out. So they breeze through this half of the inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Logan Warmoth stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1 home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Strike, 
And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. Now He's just it. pounding the zone. That's His stuff is dirty today. Jordan Groshans stands in as he checks his swing here for strike one. Fouled off. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Netzer over to his left and he makes the catch for the second out. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone. Now but maybe he tried First to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. And the pitcher, he just dodged a bullet. And he takes strike two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So a strong start on the mound. Now to bat, Malcolm Stewart will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Matty, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell him get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. So it was a strikeout swinging. Malcolm Stewart becomes the first out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He's through first and hustling for second. And this will get all the way to the wall now. Relay three, relay three. And he is in there at third with a one out triple. Well, we've been waiting for an opportunity like this since the game started. Hey. One out, and our right first run is 90 seven. feet away. The yeah. challenge now is to get him home. Well below the knees, laid oh, off on the changeup there. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's just rolling right now and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Next up, Kyle White. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Strike one to start the at bat. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. So here is Brock Lundquist. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Brock Lundquist. Retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. John Ramsey is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0-2. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Man, that swing looked like self-defense and a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely the second. Now Those that, are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Okay. Next will be the designated hitter, Logan Warmoth. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going now yard, that, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it. So he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Behind 0-2 now. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. First pitch on its way. Leading up. Cullen Ward is in to start the things off here as he looks at a called Go strike. Ahead. It's nothing in one. Lord. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Stays alive, still 0-2. And now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Rivera to stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. 
So next to bat will be Malcolm Stewart. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now into the box, Daniel Haston, now one for two catcher. with a triple so Daniel. far in this one. And eight innings Haston. have come and gone now as the inning is over. Stepping in once again is Ken Weller. He's going to lead things he off in their half of the ninth pass. as they try to the right avoid field. the dreaded shutout. Yeah. It's never a good Weller. feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. A oh, ball and two strikes now. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly liked him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed his own. Trying to strike him out for the third time. Again, he sends it out of play. He'll try again, one, two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Outfield comes way in here. The Second first pitch. Base, High and deep down the left field line. But this will land untouched. Swing hard liner to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll pull in the second with one away. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Down two runs, he puts himself in scoring position no and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Rivera ranges back and he has it for route number two. Now to the plate, here is John Ramsey. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, he brings it in and they have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. This evening's game finishes 2 0 the final score. The Sea Dogs jumped out to an early lead in the first and never. Here.